we collapsed in the desert. And this can't be heaven. Where are we? Good morning. Don't you want a morning kiss? Oh, Yuri. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. How about you guys? Are you alright? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. We need to find whoever it was and thank them. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. And that monster must have saved us or something. A monster saved us? I can't believe that. Was it just a mirage then? So what's the story? Where exactly are we? The kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentle... Oh, you mean the old man. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over here! What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. But why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to my mysterious charm. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. Aye. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. Eating. It's all stuff I hate. It's not good for you to be so picky, you know. Yuri's right. You need to eat more so you can grow bigger. And just what parts of me aren't big enough for you? Carol, you have a lot to learn about ladies. <sighs> well, Flynn told me that you didn't have any understanding of female psychology, Yuri. Nice one, Estelle. <sighs> Yeah. 
That box. Do you know something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Uifon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Wow, is this the clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself. Who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes, maybe so. Um... If you're going there, could you take the Clear Seal Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go! Yuri, you like cooking, don't you? I don't know about like. Why? We've been making you cook for us all the time and you haven't refused once. Quiet, Estelle! We don't want him to stop! It's all right, I noticed. You don't mind? Isn't it a lot of work? I used to cook for myself when I was living in the capital. It's not bad at all. It's not bad, but you don't really like it? Well, it was better than having to eat dangerously awful stuff every single day. He meant well, but he didn't realize how bad he was. This was the only way to stop him. You got my condolences, Yuri. Why are you looking at me? Rita's cooking is nothing compared to this stuff, trust me. I'd like to meet someone who could make food like that. It's like looking at a scary monster. I'll pass on the food, though. You already met him. <sighs> Excuse me. Huh? Hey, that's... your... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You? How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lab. 
Britain. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier Blastia, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any Blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier Blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as Apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an Apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? There's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a Child of the Full Moon? What is this power the Child of the Full Moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the Child of the Full Moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait! There's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Bray Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there, like, a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean, like, becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. 
I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. I have nothing left to say to you. <sighs> You're not gonna follow him? What's the point? He's not gonna talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apatheia? When the air crane went berserk, Regay, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the Apatheia is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was Apatheia nearby? And the air crane and cave mock too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apatheia has been damaging the whole world's air crane little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best, but would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city? Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm, leader of a city, Duce of a guild, I wonder what sort of person Bellius is.
So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon and the Antilochia. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Entilakea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes. I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Ba'ul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, must be your imagination. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we'd collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem. Would you 
like a skewer? Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him, after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not, but I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. Aye, but... You're used to it, huh? Aye. I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily going to listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. Mm. Mm. This is good. Didn't I tell ya? Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crenae and the Weezen of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah! Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there! You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantek. And that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's gotta be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? Y yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Entelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Entelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Can a clear CL crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? 
Maybe it's best not to get her hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me? Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Kumor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children! I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is, just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. So you did pick that up. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kumor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kumor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach! I will find out who's responsible for this! I've gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore.
out of the desert without getting lost. We didn't bump into that strange monster either. The traps in the desert had to be that creature's doing. I've never heard of a monster with that sort of ability. As I recall, when the creature vanished, a feather fell from the sky. A pharaoh's feather? Do you think there might be some connection? Perhaps it was a talisman to keep us on the right path. The feather was there. Getting lost could be related to the pharaoh after all. Returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Kumor punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita. Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Kumor out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Kumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita... I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death.
I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. you more. You're... No! Yuri, it's you! What are you doing here? Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How could this? You talk too much, Qmore. The time's come for you to make your exit. Do, do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame! I've just been following orders! I had no choice! Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait! How about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start! I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight! I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead! Tell me what it is you want! There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, and what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! I beg you, spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting, down at the lake. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know the people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But Qmore might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? Oh, uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. 
You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill two more? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rigo? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you have to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen? Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain! Understood. Sir! Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. Oh, wait! Repeat! Yuri... So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true the things you've done are against the law, but I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem like he was in a hurry. No. I'm gonna continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is...
Here's to the road ahead. Thanks. sawed logs like that for a good long while. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer nights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. Things are bound to improve here in Mantake, now that Flynn's liberated the town. They did allow the ringleader to escape, though. Kimor? Flynn will catch him in no time, right, Yuri? Hmm. Oh yeah, sure he will. Is something wrong? He looked troubled. Estelle's not her usual perky self, either. Th that's not true. I'm as happy as you all are that Mantake's been freed. If you say so.
Your friend is quite talented, considering the ease with which he saved Mantake. Who, Flynn? That was nothing for him. You know him really well, don't you, Yuri? Well, we've hung around together since we were kids. You don't hang around together much anymore, though. <sighs> Yuri? Thank you. 